the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. It's announced today that one of the stars of the show, Jeffrey Hayes, who hosted it, has died at the age of 76. The actor and presenter died in hospital, surrounded by his family, according to his manager. He presented Rainbow on ITV between 1974 to 1992, and he was joined in that time by Ronnie LeDru, who operated the character you heard there, Zippy. Evening to you, Ronnie. Good evening. Nice to be with you. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to have you on the programme. Thank you for being there. First of all, your reflections on, on the sad news that Jeffrey Hayes has died. Well, it, it really was a shock. Um, I had heard that he had not been well, but I just assumed that, you know, it was something that would clear up in, a, you know, a month or two or something. But um, sadly, it wasn't to be the case. And um, I was actually called up this morning by Jane, one of the singers on Rainbow, to let me know, which I thought was very sweet of her. And, and you know, he said that she'd said that he'd been, you know, ill for some time, actually, and had been in hospital. And I was really pleased, though, that his wife, Sarah, and son, Tom, were there for, you know, for him you know, at, at the last, because, um, you know, it, 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 it's still, it, it's, it's, a, it's a funny thing, you know, one thinks that, um, some, you know, somebody fairly young, you know, would be, you know, still, yes, you know, young. still around and alive, but anyway, um, I've got wonderful memories of working with him, he was a, a really charming person, he was, he was more or less the person you saw on the, on the box, I mean, Jeffrey played Jeffrey, you know, <laughs> and, um, so, you know, we, we just had, a, we just had a lot of fun making mm. those programs. So how, in, how, how important was he then to the to the success of the program? Because it was a massive, it was cult yeah. viewing, wasn't it, during the eighties? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we, you know, we we were just there. You know, we did in little studio three, you know, at Thames Teddington, making these programs. But and and in a way, we I, well, I certainly had no idea of how much, um, the, you know, how popular it was. I mean, I knew that we were always asked to come back and do another series. And <laughs> That's the, always a good Which time. was always very nice, yeah. you know. I mean, we didn't have a retainer or anything like that. But so it was always lovely when they thrown up and said, you know, we've got another, you know, six weeks of uh, rainbows to do, so, you know, do come in. Oh, great, you know. Anyway, um, but it was it was lovely. I mean, we really all got on really well, too, which was really nice. Yeah. I think it sort of showed in the programmes. But, I mean, Jeffrey's part really was, I mean, he was the sort of, parent figure of the whole yeah. team. I mean, he kept us all together. I mean, particularly Zippy, who was like the biggest show off and know all that you know there ever was. And and I think you know is it aptly named with it called Zippy because of his well, his wonderful zip. Of mm. course, when you know Jeffrey could in the end, you know, when he's had a, you know too much of his ranting and raving, <laughs> zip him up and say you know. Who, who made the decision to zip up his mouth? Was that your decision or Jeffrey's? No, it was really Jeffrey's. I mean, he was in charge. I mean, uh, you know, d I mean, Zippy would just go on forever if uh, he was let, let, let loose. You know, he, you know, even if he was told it, he was wrong. But, oh, I'm never wrong, you know. I mean, and he would just sort of go on. And, um, you know, and poor old George, you know, would sort of be, you know, sort of just li listening sweetly and uh, trying to sort of, you know, keep matters um, calm, but not really doing very well, really. He was just a charming, you know, hippo who liked dressing. Up, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you did the voice. I'm going to make you do that again in a minute. But first, okay. before that, can you tell us where Zippy actually is? Well, is Zippy Gary's now... Well, oh no, oh no, 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 he is actually in, um, no, I'm not going to say a cup, but he's not, he's in a storeroom in my house, and uh, he actually does make um, appearances every now and again now, um, I mean, it's, it's this, I mean, you're quite right, you know, it really has been a bit of a cult, really, the rainbow, and uh, oh, massive. I'm not long... I mean, not long ago, I was on um, with Zippy on uh, the last leg, the programme on Channel 4, oh, yes. and uh, that was such fun, you know. I mean, basically, somebody had tweeted in the programme the week before and saying, look, you know, one of the presenters sounds like Zippy, and so they phoned up and said, look, you know, do you think Zippy could come on? And, and of course, it was a surprise, the uh, presenter, which was wonderful, and the audience absolutely loved it. And, um, do you, you know... Still do, you st do people yeah. recognise your voice? Do they recognise who you are? Um, not so much you know. me, which is quite good. I mean, basically, I took over to voicing Zippy after Roy Skelton, who was the, well, not, not quite the original voice, but I mean, did most of the programmes, and he did the voice of Zippy and George. And so um, I used to just do the puppet, you know, and, the, and then, of course, 
sadly, when Roy died, I sort of took over because I sort of heard him for so many years, really, basically. I mean, over 18 years. And so I sort of did a super voice. And, and then I would sort of do George. And basically what happens is we... we um, we went and did sort of live uh, live events like opening fates or a, a corporate thing or something like that. And sometimes Roy wasn't available. Um, he was he's w well known as a sort of voice man for the BBC for the Daleks and stuff like that. So we, you know, he was doing lots of other jobs. Anyway, um, yeah, so I would go along and, and obviously voice Zippy, uh, you know, for that. And and people didn't sort of you know mind too much. It was, you know, I, I I think probably the people that listened to the program, you know, for many many years probably thought, oh, Zippy sounds a little bit different but um, I mean I do my best and, uh, and uh, you know we still we still carry on I mean as I say there's you know there's merchandise and goodness knows stuff and programs are shown on you know um, social media so uh, it still lives on and, and I suppose as you say different for you because you are operating Zippy and you're sort of behind the camera if you like <sighs> your voice is being yeah Jeffrey must have been stopped everywhere he went for a period oh, of time I uh, oh, absolutely. And in a way, that was a rather a sad thing, really, because because he was like the face of Rainbow. Everybody knew, you know, Jeffrey. I mean, he'd walk down the street and suddenly say, oh, Jeffrey, how's Bungle? Or something like this, you know. <laughs> oh, uh, man, you know, after a while, I know. Get annoying. Um, <laughs> absolutely. And it, it did, really, I think. Um, and the other thing, too, was, I, I mean, Jeffrey was a brilliant character actor. I mean, he did characters in, in Rainbow, in the la later shows. You know, we, we did sort of things like... Uh, what was it? Bat not Batman. It was Zippy and um, Zippy and Batman or something. And we and Jeffrey, I remember playing the Joker, you know, from the series. And we did our own sort of version of it. But it was such fun. And he was absolutely brilliant. He played pirates. He played all sorts of wonderful characters in the series. And I think it's a great shame that the directors, you know, out there who you know could have employed him as an actor, you know, didn't sort of see that, but only saw him as Jeffrey. Sadly, so yeah. his his latter career really. You know, wasn't wasn't so great. Really, he didn't have that much opportunities. But, but um, he certainly. I mean, I, we all had a ball doing the programme, well, so it was wonderful to do. Great memories for you, and what wonderful tribute to your colleague Jeffrey Hayes. Ronnie, thank you so much for coming on. Fantastic to get you on tonight. Ronnie Ledrew, the man who was Zippy, on LBC tonight, giving tribute to his colleague Jeffrey Hayes, who died aged 76, surrounded by his family. Fantastic, that voice is so good. Oh,